this video, we are going to practice using our number grid. Our goal today is to review how to add and subtract using the number grid. First, let's review the rules of the number grid. We know that when we move across a number grid, we count up one, or we count back one if we are subtracting. We also know that when we move down the number grid, we count up by 10, or if we are subtracting, we count back by 10. Let's start off with an addition problem. The first problem we're going to solve is 15 plus six. So when using our number grid to solve this problem, we need to figure out first where we begin. The first number in our number sentence is 15. So that's where we're going to start. So I find the number 15, circle it right there. So we start at 15, and then where do we go? Well, our number sentence says 15 plus six. So we know we are moving forward and we are counting up six. So start at 15 and count up six. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. We landed on the number 21. So now we know that 15 plus six equals 21. Let's look at another one. Our next number sentence is 14 plus 10. So we begin on the number 14, which is right here, and we count up 10. Now there are two ways that we can do this. One might take a little bit longer and the other is like a shortcut. We could start at 14 and count up 10, just like we did previously. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We landed on the number 24, so that is our answer. But look where my pointer is. It's right below the number we started on. We remember that when you hop down on the number grid, that means plus 10. So when I first looked at this problem, I could recognize that all I need to do is hop down for plus 10. So 14 plus 10 equals 24. The number grid is also very helpful when we are trying to add bigger numbers together. So let's try this one. 22 plus 35. Those are pretty tricky, but our number grid can help us. So our first number is 22. Let's find 22 on the number grid. I'm going to look for the 20s, which means they have a two in the tens place. There it is, 22. Now that I found the number 22, I need to count up 35. Now we could do that the long way, like I showed you, by counting up one. We would have to do that all the way up to 35. But let's try the shortcut that we just learned. I start at 22, and I need to count up 35. So let's first start by counting up by tens. 10, 20, 30, 30. So we counted up 30, we just need five more. One, two, three, four, five. So I landed on 57. 22 plus 35 equals 57. If you heard some barking in the background, it was just my extremely vicious dogs. Working from home is so much fun. We can also use our number grid to help us solve problems where there is a number missing, just like this one. 17 plus something equals 25. 
So we need to figure out how many hops it takes to get from 17 to 25. So we'll start with the number 17. And we're not counting up 25 hops, but we need to see how many hops it takes to get to 25. So we start at 17 and we count up. How many hops does it take? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It took us eight hops to get from 17 to 25. So we can say that 17 plus eight equals 25. Now it's time to shake out our brains because we need to switch to subtraction. Our first subtraction problem is 19 minus seven. So just like for addition, we first have to find the number we're starting on. Let's find the number 19. Right here. We start at 19 and because our problem says minus, we need to count backward this time. So we start at 19 and we count backward seven. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We landed on 12. So 19 minus seven equals 12. Remember, when we subtract, the answer is always a smaller number than the number we started with, right? 12 is smaller than the number 19. Next, let's try 57 minus 10. First, we find where we begin, 57. I'm going to look for the 50s, which means there is a five in the tens place. There it is. So now we need to find 57. Up, oh, right here. So we start at 57, and because we are subtracting 10, we need to count back. Remember, the trick for adding or subtracting 10 is to move up or down the number grid. So if I start at 57, I need to count back 10. So I start at 57. One hop up means minus 10. So 57 minus 10 equals 47. I don't know if you can see it with the glare, but it says 47. Even with subtraction, we can still use the number grid to find a missing number in the number sentence. So let's try this one. 12 minus something equals eight. So we're starting at 12. And we are hopping all the way back to the number eight. So I'm going to circle eight. So we're starting here and seeing how many hops does it take to get back up here. Let's see. Zero, one, two, three, four. It took us four hops to get from 12 back to eight. So we know that the missing number is four to make 12 minus four equals eight. In the description of this video, I've linked a number grid math game that will help you practice and it'll be a lot of fun. Keep working hard.